Well, now to the debt limit showdown again. The deadline again is just about two weeks away. Still no deal. House Republicans plan to this week on a balanced budget amendment. That includes spending cuts, but no tax hikes. President Obama says he will veto it. And Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid says his chamber will work through the weekend and beyond to come up with a workable deal. Senior citizens in particular are growing more uneasy about this deadlock, fearing cuts to programs such as Medicare and Social Security. They voiced their concerns at a town hall meeting in Springfield. Julie Carey reports. Well, today's town hall was set up by Democratic Congressman Jerry Connolly. Republicans charged that Democrats are trying to frighten seniors by mischaracterizing their budget-cutting proposals. But what seniors seem most worried about today was the uncertainty itself. There was no screaming or shouting at this town hall meeting for seniors at Greenspring Village Retirement Community in Springfield. The questions were measured and polite. Why this keeps Social Security keeps being referred to, even by President Obama, as an entitlement program. I paid into Social Security since I was 12 years old. But ask these seniors if they're worried about the current standoff on Capitol Hill and whether Medicare, Medicaid and Social Security hang in the balance and you get answers like this. I'm very concerned and also very angry uh, that there are individuals in Congress who are more concerned about their own political future and making their own mark rather than the good welfare of the country. Democratic Congressman Jerry Connolly had little assurance to calm their fears. He just sent this mailing to 140,000 constituents declaring Medicare is at risk under certain plans being floated. Virginia's AARP director was part of the town hall panel. Traveling across Virginia, he describes seniors as dazed and confused, dazed as they recover from a recession that threatened their retirement plans, and confused that now Medicare and Social Security are being targeted for potential cuts. If you're going to threaten people's sense that Social Security will pay the full bill, and if you have people worry that some of the costs of Medicare that are hard to pay right now, more of those are going to get shifted to them, you have a lot of seniors who are very concerned, and they don't know who to believe. 72-year-old Ashburn resident Merwin Reeves is concerned. He says uncertainty about Medicare reimbursement rates has driven his doctor to charge a membership fee. So if anything else happens to that, I'm not sure whether I'll be able to go back to the doctor that I've relied on for years for my, for my health care. Still, these seniors hold out hope for compromise on Capitol Hill. They've seen it before. Ed Thurman's been following politics ever since he cast his first ballot for FDR. I, I have infinite uh, hope in, in Congress. In spite of their concern, though, most of the seniors that we spoke to believe a compromise will be reached. Back to you now. All right. Julie Carey, thank you.